In a recent video, I explained what burnout is and how it relates to the workplace. The World Health Organization has updated its description for the 11th revision of the International Classification of Diseases. This describes burnout as an occupational phenomenon related to stress from the workplace. But why exactly does this pertain to one's job? While certain aspects of the workplace are causing high levels of emotional stress, and these rates of burnout have negative effects on people and their companies. Hi everyone, I'm Matt from eTactics, and today I'm going to share the main causes and consequences of employee burnout. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well, so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. One cause for burnout is that people work too many hours, including time outside of their regular work schedules. One survey found that 37% of people are working more hours than usual since the start of COVID-19. 39% also checked work emails every day outside of their work hours. Employees within certain industries also tend to work overtime. For instance, half of physicians work at least 60 hours per week. A survey for lawyers found that they work an average of 53 hours per week. But it isn't even just high-paying jobs that require longer hours. People in retail and fast food, some of the lowest-paying jobs in the world, often work overtime or a second part-time job. Another main reason for employee burnout is that so many people don't use their vacation time. 55% of Americans don't use all their vacation time. This forfeits over $61 million in benefits. For 23% of workers, they don't use their vacation time because they have too much work. And 60% of people even continued working while they were on vacation. Working too many hours and lacking vacation time causes work, life, and balance, contributing to more burnout. Not getting a break from work makes it challenging for people to be satisfied with their personal life and even for those that do take a break. Their personal time is still interrupted. 25% of employees get contacted by a coworker for job related reasons while on vacation, and 21% get contacted by their bosses. Depending on the industry, these rates can be even higher though. 44% of people who work in business development are expected to work while on vacation. These problems just lead to negative consequences for people and their companies. When workers experience burnout, they have poor job performance. 91% of people say that an unmanaged amount of stress negatively impacts their quality of work. Depression and anxiety leads to an estimated $1 trillion loss in productivity each year. This is the equivalent to around 550 million workdays lost. With more people facing workplace stress, employees are more inclined to leave their jobs or take time off work. 63% of workers with burnout are more likely to use sick days. And 42% leave jobs due to burnout. People are 2.6 times as likely to seek a different job in this case. This has financial impacts for companies as well. Burnout costs U.S. companies more than $300 billion per year. These costs are due to absenteeism, decreased productivity, employee turnover, workers' compensation, accidents, and insurance costs. Since employees' mental health is impacted, there are also healthcare costs associated with burnout as well. Aside from workers' compensation and sick time, which I already mentioned, people with burnout are 23% more likely to visit the emergency room. Burnout contributes to around $190 billion in healthcare-related costs, in extreme cases, it can result in fatalities. Workplace stress alone causes around 120 deaths per year. As you can see, burnout is a serious problem for companies. It negatively impacts their employees, so they're less productive, take sick days, or look for new jobs altogether. Each of these leads to financial impacts for the company. But even more concerning, there are also serious health consequences associated with it as well. To prevent each of these problems, managers need to address the causes of burnout to ease the issue for workers. If you'd like to learn more about preventing burnout, reach out to eTactics. And you already made this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below. Well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our YouTube channel.